Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. It is August 6, 2024. Let me just say this. You know, they give out awards in boxing. Let me just say that boxing scene, an article they've posted today, they deserve an award. This is excellent journalism, right? So, Beverly Hills Hotel, who's there? Canelo, who's there? Edgar Berlanga, right now, let me just say this as a lead in. For years, I watched Canelo and Canelo would have an interpreter with him in the ring. They would ask Canelo a question, then Canelo would start responding in English. And then the interpreter would have to like hop in and remind Canelo, hey, look, you know, let's do this in Spanish, basically. And Canelo was going along pretending he could barely speak English at the time. I'm sure part of it was just to make sure that he connected with his Latino fan base, uh, spoke to them directly in Spanish. Okay, fair enough. And Canelo, of course, like Alexis Arguello, right, has a certain class about him where he's a boxing ambassador type guy, right? This is the guy who wants to portray himself and portray the sport well. So, of course, they're at the Beverly Hills Hotel. You have Canelo, who is 34 years old, and he's dealing with a young, unbeaten fighter. There's a generational gap here. So, of course, Canelo stops pretending. Canelo says to him, you hit like me, son. You don't bring anything to me that I haven't seen before. So, the New Yorker, Berlanga, shoots back, you're going to see my words. Imagine the original words. You're going to see mf -er. So Canelo didn't like that. Canelo says, eight rounds. Mark my words. I'm not going to have compassion. These kind of mf -ers keep me motivated. I don't want to F you up right now. Because your money will be gone. <laughs> Folks, this is good stuff. Um, I don't think we see the real Canelo enough. Right? So, of course, they continue. Right? This is real talk here. So, of course, Berlanga says, I'm the type of a fighter who comes to fight. Canelo was once in my shoes, and now it's my time to make my name and become a legend in the sport of boxing. This is going to be a firefight. It's going to be different. This is a gladiator sport at the end of the day. We're looking to take each other out. It's going to the next level. Then, of course, Berlanga says something about his ring IQ. Right? Just understand, the old man wasn't having it. So the article notes that Canelo exploded in laughter. Then Canelo says, he thinks he has more intelligence than me and everyone I fought. Come on, bro. <laughs> He's not going to be able to touch me. I want to see him try. Then Canelo continued on. Your turn is coming. You think you have more IQ than Floyd Mayweather and Miguel Cotto? He's nothing compared to them. You're not going to do anything. You're just going to make me laugh. Right? Canelo continued. I motivate myself because I love what I do. I love boxing. These types of fights and fighters motivate me even more. I'm going to train like never before. Right? Now, just understand, folks... You see an older boxer. It could be Canelo. It could be a promoter. It could be Oscar De La Hoya. Right? Hey, you know, these guys are from the same neighborhoods as the rest of us. <laughs> these guys have egos just like the rest of us. Maybe the guy has worked on and has honed a corporate persona to connect with sponsors, to help sell tickets for his fights 
to portray the media outlets in favorable lights, right? But don't kid yourself. At the end of the day, Canelo calls this guy son. Think about it. He says, you hit like me, not Edgar. No, he says, you hit like me, son. Right? Edgar Berlanga, to him, is a child in boxing. Let me say this, too. And this is just a side commentary. Longtime subscribers here know that for years I've been talking about that Canelo Cotto fight being closer than the announcers believed and that most of us believe. Right? I want people to revisit that fight. So it's interesting. Here you have Canelo, a guy who's fought countless fighters, right? He could have named several fighters who have had great careers. He names two guys. Mayweather, who beat him. The second name isn't Beevil. <laughs> the second name's not Beevil. It's not Laura. The second name he mentions in a conversation about ring IQ is Miguel Cotto. Right? Just think about that. Right? Boxing's an expectation game. I'm just telling you, when you revisit some fights, they look completely different than the fight you watched when it was live. Anyway, um... This Canelo Berlanga fight has me excited. Let me also make another statement. This is speculation on my part. You know, Canelo is facing Jaime Munguia. He knocks down Jaime. It's still the first half of the fight. Right? Jaime, of course, doesn't have Canelo's experience even in the later rounds. Right now, I thought it was interesting <laughs> here. 